The weather today is pretty grim. It is rainy and I hope my DJI Pocket 3 can handle the rain. Very, just drizzle, fine rain, a bit like English rain. But the temperature, the temperature is very good. So it's quite humid. It seems more risky coming onto a pavement than it does crossing a road because of the amount of bikes. They don't always pay attention. They all have a phone going on the handlebars. Yeah, the weather today is quite grim. In some heavy thunder, very loud thunder. I don't know if it's the weather or just me, something wrong with me, I really don't know, but these days I feel a bit lethargic a bit, so I, uh, I don't want to do that. Getting a little tired. I think it's the humidity, but you know, as we age, we start thinking, oh, what's happening, what's happening? I need more oxygen. I need more lemons, fruit, better change my diet. I'm gonna blame the weather and just uh, get on with it. But yeah, I don't feel quite so springy and bouncy as I was a couple of weeks ago. We all go through it, don't we? Even the youngsters. So just give you a quick rundown, my uh, analytics. Um, I've only just become monetized, literally, in the last seven days. And so I'm quite excited about that. I haven't been chasing YouTube, although I've done quite a few YouTube videos now. I've not really been chasing it. I've not looked at one particular niche or market to chase. I've got a, a variety of different hobbies that I like to do. Whether it's carpentry, plumbing, um, traveling, talking to people, doing interviews, I've done them all. Um, and I just, just filmed them. So it's a bit of a story of my life really and my journey through life. But I, if I want to stick to YouTube in, and make money, I suppose I've got to stick to a particular topic. Um, just doing China on its own is interesting. Even though I've been here 16 years now, um, I still find it, China, really, really interesting. I love the country, really do like the culture, like the people, and there's very little I dislike about China, very little. But there are some things, that's one of them. E-bikes that do 30 miles an hour don't really pay much attention to what they're doing. Yeah, quite dangerous. If you've never been to China and you're thinking of coming to China, okay, you've got the mainstream media to tell you what it's about, and maybe some places might even give you a warning. Be careful, it's not safe. This is not North Korea. China is very, very safe. Maybe even North Korea is safe, I don't know. Never been there. China's very, very safe. As far as the government's concerned, it would do its best to look after tourists. If you're ever involved in a situation with a Chinese person, um, don't turn it into aggression. Anything physical, you will lose. I don't mean physically, you may win physically, but you will lose in the long term. You may lose your visa and get kicked out. And if the person that you had that confrontation with is very rich, you may end up in prison. To stay clear of any confrontation, everything can be fixed with words and negotiation. I don't mean money. All the money can solve a lot of things in China. So that's one thing if you're coming to China. The other thing is two more things you need to consider. One, e-bikes when you're walking with family, especially, especially if you bring your kids with you. Um, e-bikes, very dangerous, very, very dangerous. And uh, I know one guy who had both hips broken by an e-bike. Wow, English chap as well. And they rode away. There wasn't so many cameras in those days and so he had to pay for that injury himself. He was in the hospital for some time and he was a teacher. Anyway, and so e-bikes on the pavement, very, very dangerous. And the other thing that you need to be very uh, considerate of is traffic on the roads. In short, my advice to anyone is to say that zebra crossings is a safe place to get hit by a car or a truck. Now, what I mean by that is, you cross anywhere that isn't a legal place to cross it, you will 
have to fork out all the bills. It's your own fault. Cross on a zebra crossing, you get hit by a car. They, if you did it right, if you cross when the lights were green, they will have to fork out the bill. Zebra crossing does not mean traffic lights, where, where the, you know, it's safe for me to cross. It doesn't mean it's safe. You must still look because the drivers of the cars may not be looking where they're going and you may still get injured or seriously hurt. So really when you think about the size of the country and all the things that can go wrong, three things, don't get into any arguments that could turn into violent situations, having scuffles with local people, watch out for e-bikes, watch out for trucks. Do those two things, you'll have a wonderful time. Will you get scammed? It's possible. Yeah, in the markets, how much is that? It's, it's happened to me, it's probably happened to every foreigner that YouTubes, and they won't mention it because it's kind of like a little bit of a bad side of China, but it happens in every country. You get them. Taxes near airports and train stations in particular, they might rip you off, that's life. Um, and also when you do shopping in some markets, the price for someone else, the price for a local person, may pay half than what you pay. They assume, many assume, that foreigners have a lot of money so the price goes up. It is simple as that, accept it or don't shop there. So, that kind of thing happens in any country all around the world. Other than that, look at the scenery behind me. It's absolutely beautiful, all new. It does make me wonder sometimes if the Chinese have found the money to build these cities, these skyscrapers, these bridges, everything and make the entire infrastructure 100 times better. Why haven't Western countries, countries been able to do it? Are they spending and wasting their money on other things? Of course they are. And how much does it, the gov, I think, I do, honestly do think now, as I age and become more wise or stupid, I do think that Western governments pilfer more taxes for their own pockets than they do the people that voted them in. You know what I mean. Every, every country does it, every government does it, but they don't allow, in China they allow enough to keep the economy moving, build the cities, build trains, metros and everything. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, do Western governments pilfer steal more money, more taxes for themselves than countries like Venezuela, um, Russia, China? Can't really deny it. So the rains are going to get a little bit heavy now. I'm going to have to put this camera away. Maybe not too exciting. Hey, there you go. It's raining. Who can be excited when it's raining? Don't forget, please subscribe, get me up to uh, 100,000. <laughs> the strange thing is, I do have more than 100,000 viewers on my channel, and only, I think, <laughs> what is it? 19% are subscribers. No, less than that, less than that, whatever. So, if you do find time to watch this video, please give us, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, write a comment and subscribe. That's all I ask. Even if you subscribe, you don't have to watch any more videos. Just give me that subscribe button. There's something mentally in my head that says, more subscribers the better. And I've only just been monetized, so. <laughs> Doing the best I can. I'm learning all about YouTubing. I'm learning all the technical stuff. So I'm no youngster. Uh, I'm using that as an excuse. And I'm also living in another country you know, struggling with the VPN. Oh, the rains are coming heavy now. Quite difficult. Um, and I don't have many people to help me. There you go. All the best, thanks a lot. Bye bye, I'm gonna start running. I don't think my camera likes this. Not a bad DJI Pocket 3 actually, considering I'm running with a very long selfie stick. Don't even know if the microphone's picking me up. I could still run 100 meters in seven seconds and do a, a mile in three and a half minutes. 
And then when I wake up and literally try to do it, wow, it's five times as more. So my figures were not correct there. Bye-bye, it's raining too much. Bye-bye.